Hey, you know, it's an, an exciting time for all of us here in Colorado. The fall colors are entering. They're, uh, they're pretty much blooming up, upon us. Not blooming. Mm -hmm. They're technically changing. dying. They're dying. Yeah, they're changing. Uh, but, you know, our expectations are high for our fall colors, especially this year, considering yeah. all the rain we got with our aspens this summer. But our expectations do need to be realistic a little bit. In the Pike, Pike Isabel National Forest, there's been actually a huge issue with the leaf-eating moths. Caradio News Channel 13's Riley Carroll joins us now live in studio to explain more after speaking with the U.S. Forest. Service. Well, good afternoon to you, Josh and Brain. As you can see on this map, the Salida and Leadville area are set to heat their set to hit their peak co colors around October 10th. But a species of moth native to the area came out stronger than is typical this spring and ate away at some of those beautiful aspen tree leaves we're used to. You've probably never heard of it before, the large aspen tortrix. It's a species of moth whose food of choice is aspen trees. They're actually caterpillars at the time are uh, defoliate the tree uh, and then um, they sort of uh, turn into moss and fly. This happens in the springtime. By midsummer, the leaves begin to repopulate, but they don't always reach the same fullness and lushness as before they were eaten. Some areas look fairly thin um, after the defoliation, even though the leaves come back. So if you decide to go leaf peeping in the Salida area in the Pike San Isabel National Forest, just west of Pueblo, you might notice a little difference from the fall colors you're used to. Some areas will, will appear less full and vibrant. I've been noticing it myself. While these caterpillars, soon to be moths, live in the trees every year, forest officials say they're usually so few and far between it's hardly noticeable. But this spring, they came in droves. This spring, uh, it was quite evident across hillside. It's a little bit unusual to have this widespread of an event. It's the largest, you know, most widespread um, event I've ever seen. The good news, there's plenty of leaves to go around. And despite the thinner displays due to hungry moths, there are still beautiful fall colors to be seen. No closer to the springs here in Denver. We'll have to wait around until around the 17th of October for peak colors. And no rush if you're around Pueblo in Trinidad, where the leaves will be turning towards the end of next month. Reporting live in the studio, Riley Carroll, KRDO News Channel 13.